Breaking news, my country people. You will be shocked. Erufai redraws interest in Tinibu's ministerial appointment, recommends a replacement. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. To get notified, click on the notification bell and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. My country people, the former governor of Kaduna State, Nasa Erufai, has withdrawn his interest in being a part of President Bola Tinibu's cabinet. The presidency sources says that Erufai told the, uh, President Tinibu at a meeting on Tuesday that he was no longer interested in becoming a minister, but would continue to contribute his quota to the development of Nigeria as a private citizen. He also told the president that he needed time to focus on his doctorate program at a university in Netherlands, one of the sources said. Another insider told news reporters that the former governor, Erufai, suggested a new ministerial nominee, Jafaru Ibrahim Sani, a Kaduna, for Kaduna State, saying the president would find him very useful and resourceful. Mr. Sani served as commissioner in three ministries in Kaduna State, the local government, education, and environment, while Mr. Erufai was the governor. And Erufai visited the president at the presidential villa a day after the Senate confirmed 45 ministerial nominees. After a, a week-long screening of 48 of them, the upper legislative chamber, however, up withheld his confirmation and those of two others, citing security reports from the state security service for the action. The two others were a former senator from Taraba, Sani Dalandi, and a nominee from Delta State, Stella Okotiti. Our sources said that Becoming aware of the Senate's pronouncement of his case, Erufai, who only returned to Nigeria from London on Monday, sought and got an appointment to meet the president. And after the meeting on Tuesday afternoon, President Tinibu, according to news reporters, told the former governor he received some petitions, you know, critical of his ministerial nominee, uh, nomination. And then the president asked for 24 hours grace to review the petitions and the SSS reports to the Senate to enable him to reach a decision. It was at that point that Erufai responded that he was no longer interested in being a minister since it appeared some forces around the president were scheming intensively to block his emergence, to block his, um, you know, coming up as a federal minister. And then Mr. Irofai had disclosed this during a confirmation hearing on, on the 1st of August that Tinibu asked him to work with him on the power problem facing the country. And according to him, the president had given a target of seven years for Nigeria to stop experiencing this power outage in the country. So my country people, it seems that... Um, Erufai now, at this point, has decided to back out from this race. I mean, it is so obvious that there are some cabals blocking his emergence as a federal minister. They don't want him to be a part of, you know, Tinibu's government. They don't want him to be a part of Tinibu's uh, uh, cabinet. So they are doing all things possible, according to Erufai. And at the Tuesday meeting, Erifa also reportedly told the president that since he would no longer be in the Federal Executive Council, he would return the next day with his team to present the preliminary work done so far on the energy sector. The team that accompanied the former governor to make presentations to the president on Wednesday includes the Oyo Epo a former commissioner at the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. Also, Hazif Bayaru, 
a former commissioner and administrator of the Kaduna Capital uh, Territory Authority. Also, Olu Oyekan of Baston Consulting Group and Ayodele Oni, a lawyer. Olu, the special advisor to the president on energy matters, presented on gas. Nerufai is studying for a doctorate in public policy at the United Nations University. His associate says he prepared to leave office as governor in May this year. He had inducted his desires. He has indicated, I beg your pardon, he has indicated his desires to exit public life and to concentrate on his PhD program. But that was when the president elect then the president elect then Tinibu had asked him to join his cabinet so he would you know charge him with the responsibility of repositioning the insufficient power sector in Africa's largest economy. It is unclear what suddenly went wrong between the two men such that an agency of government would block Mr. Erufai's no, uh, ministerial nomination without the president lifting a finger. So my country people, this is, you know, really interesting. And when contacted Mr. Adekanye, Adekanye, the media advisor to Erufai, declined to comment on this, you know, story. So my country people, Erufai, according to some certain sources, had disclosed that he's not, um, he's no longer interested. He's not interested in becoming a minister in Tinibu's government. He doesn't want to take part in anything that concerns Tinibu's cabinet, since it is obvious that there are some cabals, some Asoro cabals that. They don't want him to, you know, be a part of Tinibu's government. They are trying so hard on this. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? I'm dropping here. Please, kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.